and on this 3.50, almost 4 o'clock, I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to root your WebOS device. It's really a simple process, but I know a lot of people neglect to actually do it, so I'm going to give you a quick run-through of how it's done. Now, the first thing you'll need is something called WebOS Quick Install. This is, it's a Java application, so it's compatible with Mac, Windows, Linux, whatever runs Java, really. And you can find this on PreCentral, um, no, Google search will really give it to you. So let's assume we already have this. We've got it minimized down here, so whenever the doc shows up, there we go. There we go, WebOS Quick Install. The emulator right now is taking up a lot of my system resources, so that's why it's taking so long. There we go. This is basically your go-to tool. Now, if you know anything about um, jailbreaking or rooting uh, iPhone or Android phones, then you'll know there's usually a, a separate a sort of store to go to. In this case, it's called Preware. Now, what you want to do to get this is you click this down button right here. You click the down button. Hopefully, it actually registered. and you'll get the IPKG Repository Viewer. Now it'll take a second to load up all of its feeds, which is it's about five or six feeds. So let it load its list. And there it is. Now what you want to go to is click the top bar up here, and you'll want you'll see WebOS Internals Feed All, Pre, Pixie, and Emulator. Why don't you choose the one, the device that you're looking for? Since I'm using the emulator, I'm going to click Emulator, although if you're using an actual device, remember, click Bray if you're using a Palm Bray, or Pixie if you're using a Palm Pixie. Then you look down the list, and you find Preware. This one's right here for me. You click the little tick box, and then you hit Download. You let it download. It processes for a second. Close here, and there it is. There is your Preware. Now, what you want to do is, for net first, make sure you're actually going to the device you want it to. So, first hit File, Options, and then choose Emulator or USB Device. Emulator if you're using the emulator over here. Or for USB Device if you're using an actual Palm Prey or Palm Pixie. Now, before you do anything, you want to make sure you have Developer Mode in, uh, activated on your phone or on your emulator. So what you do is you just enter the Konami code. And I'll end. I'll type that in for you real quick. If I'm sorry for the lag, it's just my my computer is not terribly powerful. So when you go to the, actually I can do this on the emulator. You go to the emulator, or you go to the your device, you open up launcher, you type in up, 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 down, down, left, right, left, right, be a start. And you'll get developer mode enabler. You want to click that, you want to make sure this is set to on. If it's off, which it probably will be if you have to do this, you will have, you turn, when you turn it on, you'll have to restart your device. That's completely normal. So once that's on, flick that away, and then you make again make sure it's on the right one. 
Make sure that's selected, and then you hit install. It'll connect to device. Give it a second to transfer the file over. And there you go. It is now installed. You can just open the launcher, and there it is, Preware. Now, obviously, this is a. I've already modified my phone. I just deleted Preware to show you how to install it again. So you just read all of this. Hit OK. I've read this. Let's continue. It'll download the feed information. It'll load package information for everything you just got. And then here you are. That's Preware. Hit available packages to, just to through what you've got. You'll mostly be looking at applications and patches for the most part. And there you have it. Just explore around Preware to find the things you want. This has been the Angel of Laser. I'm glad I could help you.